my name is Jay. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, and I'm an architect. Uh, and I came down here to get my uh, teeth redone. It was actually a full reconstruction of the teeth. I had lost my uh, uh, most of my teeth originally in a discus asca in, in uh, high school. So I had maybe a third of my teeth left to start with. And the dentist at that point uh, put some bridges on uh, using my existing teeth as uh, anchor points. And they lasted a good long time, over 30 years. But, you know, obviously I'm a little bit older now and they started failing. So at that point I had to start looking for uh, replacements. And one of the things I was looking around uh, my hometown, obviously, was to see what it would cost to do that. It, it was going to be, uh, uh, well, my midlife crisis car, essentially, that, that went away. And I do have a boy who's going to college, so I have to pay for college as well. So the cost was definitely a factor. So I'm doing a lot of research, trying to get a lot of data down. And I started asking a lot of questions and uh, sent some emails out. And uh, one of the places I was corresponding with was, was Miso. The reason I went with Miso was uh, basically because they took a lot of time with me. Uh, they gave me all sorts of time answering my questions, very patient with me. And as I would think of the different uh, questions, I would shoot them out and I'd get the answer back the next day. So it, it was a very uh, comfortable process. We went back and forth multiple times and I just felt very comfortable with them. They had a, a good way of, of uh, communicating with me. So if you think communication is a difficult thing, they speak perfect English. Um, and the folks in the administrative staff that were communicating with me were very clear and uh, uh, able to describe exactly what I, I would expect. You know, so the, the quotes that I found at home range, you know, obviously in, in a couple of different ways, but effectively I, I was able to save uh, 40, 45 percent of, you know, the average cost of what was up there. And that includes plane flights, uh, hotel, uh, accommodations, food, etc. everything that you would have to have uh, abroad that you might not necessarily have at home. So even despite all that, uh, there was an incredible savings. Um, you know, so obviously I had something fairly radical to do, so insurance only goes up to a certain amount and everything else is out of pocket essentially. So, you know, everything was uh, kind of important along those lines, but to have such a, you know, get a huge savings, it's hard to shake a stick at kind of in, in the shoes that you were in way back when, and that's why it took me so long to uh, go through with it. I was actually hemming and hawing for a long time, never having gone as overseas, uh, never having gone through this uh, uh, dental tourism industry. And, and, and I was doing a lot of research and it, it took a long time to come to that notion and, or comfort level. Um, but again, you know, it's, it's a leap of faith. You know, you, you are, I was very comfortable with speaking with the people here. Uh, but not having gone through it, you know, what kind of accommodations, what kind of uh, treatment, all that kind of stuff, you know, that was still in my head. But in my research, you know, I realized that, um, you know, the, the, all the staff, they, they've gone through rigorous training. Uh, some have studied in the United States, uh, have gone through, um, you know, the, uh, their, their uh, um, registration, getting licensure and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and learning there and coming back here to apply their words here. So having gone through the process, I can say that, you know, once you step in the office that, you know, you feel like you could be in anywhere in the States as well. Uh, again, you, you have a slight uh, uh, accent, but again, the, the language that's being spoken to you when you talk to them, uh, English, right? So it's very fluent. Uh, the treatment felt like any treatment that I could have had or expected back home. And, you know, they really did a great job, I think, in terms of uh, giving me uh, a product that I could live with.